John, how to do this? Can I go to the toilet? What are you talking about? Sound familiar to you? These are probably things that you see in class almost every day. Unknowingly, the things that students say in class every day can affect their learning and become a bad habit that is hard to correct. Here are the top three sentence structures that students should avoid using. How to do this? Can I go to the toilet? What are we talking about? It sounds normal to say all these in class, especially when asking for permission. However, note that none of the sentences are grammatically correct. Let's take a look at what is wrong with these sentences. Number one, missing subjects. Compare these two sentences. How to do this? How do I do this? Which one do you think is the correct sentence? If you have chosen the second one, then you are correct. Remember that a proper sentence requires a subject and a verb. Now you try. Take a look at this sentence. Why so difficult? Try changing it into a proper sentence and comment below. Number two, using the right modal verbs. Now compare these two sentences. Can I go to the toilet? May I go to the toilet? First and foremost, it is important to add in the preposition to, as you are requesting to go to a place, which is the toilet. The article the is also important to ensure that it's a grammatically correct sentence. Furthermore, changing the modal verb can to me makes the request sound more formal and polite. Can is usually used when you have the ability to do something or when you are allowed to do something. When it is used in a sentence or a request, it can also sound like you are expecting something. Can I go to the toilet? Yes, you can. You can go to the toilet by walking there yourself. But it doesn't mean that I have allowed you to do so. On the other hand, me is used to discuss the possibility of things happening in the future. May I go to the toilet? Yes, you may, as I have given you the permission to. I hope you can see the difference in tone in the two sentences. Other than that, changing the mood of verb can to could can also make a request sound more polite. Try changing this sentence. Teacher, can you move? I cannot see the board. Again, comment below. Number three, missing B verb. What are you talking about? Note that there is a missing R in the sentence. What are you talking about? Sometimes, students tend to shorten their sentences and say only the words that determine the meaning of the sentence. Even though the message is clear and teachers do understand, it is still important to speak in proper sentences. Ensure you use your key verbs is, are, was, were, and am. Why don't you try changing this sentence and comment below? What happened? Why are you so happy? Most of us are unaware that our daily conversations with others can actually affect our ability to form proper sentences. As a teacher, I notice that students translate the way they speak daily into the way they speak tomorrow and definitely in the way they write. It is all about building a habit. I challenge you to take note of these things that you say in class and actively change them into proper sentences. Thank you for watching this video and I'll be reading your comments below. Have a good day again and happy learning!